hello everyone welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to share this pot pie recipe with you so let's get started here i've got my chicken breast with some spices some people like to cook this and then shred it but i'm going to make it in a different way in this recipe i will be frying it so i am just seasoning the chicken with the spices i will list everything down below in the description box and i just mixed it well and i'm going to place in the fridge for one hour and here are the rest of the ingredients that i will be using so i'm just melting some butter on a medium heat adding some coconut oil to it once it's melted very well i'm going to go in and add some leeks and onion already sliced so i'm just combining that together and i will fry for about two to three minutes if today is your first time joining me on my channel welcome to the family you are mostly welcome here please 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 don't forget to subscribe and support your girl then i'm gonna go in and add my carrots as you can see here and i will be frying that for about seven minutes and then i added some thyme for this will give me that minty and lemony taste. Then I'll go ahead and add my mushroom and some mint. So guys, the mint, if you're using the fresh one, you're supposed to add it almost at the end of the cooking because that is when you get the flavor you're looking for. But if you're using the dry one, you can add it in the middle or at the beginning of the cooking for the flavor to actually release into your food. But um this was just lying around and i needed to use it and either way i will be cooking it because at the end of the day i'm still going to be baking my pie hence why i added it a little bit early but it's not going to cause any harm so guys um i added a little bit of broth to my vegetables i'm going to bring it slightly to a boil while i get on with my chicken here as you can see i'm just frying that and the spices I added to the chicken is all I'm using. I'm not going to add any extra spices in here. However, if I do need more taste, I will add a little bit as I go along. But I'll let you guys know when I do add it. And here I'm adding some diced potatoes to the chicken. I'm going to cover that and, and let it cook slowly on a medium heat until it's very soft. And I want the chicken to be well cooked. And back to my vegetables, I am now going to go ahead and add about two tablespoons of flour. I've got three tablespoons in here just in case I need more. And I'm just quickly stirring that in to make a roux and also to avoid any lumps forming inside. Just really adding it gradually. I am not going in to add everything. And this is how it's looking, golden, nice. And I'm just adding my broth. I'm adding the whole lot of broth. I'm using about 300 ml of broth. I'm also constantly mixing that together to make a uh, gravy and this is the rest of the flour that I did not use it's about one tablespoon I'm now just adding my heavy cream I mix that together to get this and I'm gonna cover to let it cook slowly or rather simmer on a medium low heat for about a few minutes going on to my chicken added the extra legs in and now I am going to just transfer the whole lot into my sauce here, which is beautifully boiling. And also, i um, going to go ahead and add the peas that I had from earlier. And I'll stir all that together. Guys, this tastes so good. I ended up not adding any salt to it because I had just the perfect measurement of spices. Not too much and not too little. So um, it tastes amazing. You can literally eat this on its own with maybe bread. Or you can use this for a creamy pasta. Which I'm actually going to do because I have a lot of sauce here that I don't need for the pie. So I'm just going to cover that and uh, let it simmer for a few more minutes and that is it if you want to add any salt or any other thing this is the moment to add it going to my pie i have my dough here which i left in the fridge and now i just literally roll that and i'm just going to use my baking dish to measure but all i'm looking for is that the actual dough is larger than the dish then i'm going to use the rolly pin to transfer it over onto the dish and then smoothing it out and once that is done i'm also going to just use the fork to poke some holes underneath to aid the cooking
and i went ahead to flatten the second one as well you can buy already made pastry sheet puff pastry sheet if that's what you want but i like to make my own dough at home um, because it gives me the power to control how much i put in there and as much as i want it to be healthy and then i went ahead to fold the second dough over and the easy peasy way was actually to use the fork to seal the edges but you can use your hand if you wish to just fold it neatly over I then bake on 200 degrees for 30 minutes in preheated oven and now I am going to leave it out for 10 minutes to cool before I start digging it. Guys, the pie is so flaky. I actually rolled the dough a little bit thick because I wanted that crunch to come through but that's just my personal preference. However, you can roll the dough a little bit thinner to your own preference for your desired flakiness. Now, and the way that I made the dough, you will still get that flickiness coming through. I hope you like this recipe. Thank you so much for watching and bye-bye for now.